welcome students in this class we are going to see about the bile secretion and its excretion in the liver and also the remaining what is functional unit of the liver what is venous unit of the liver and what is the hepatic acinus so what about the bile so how the bile is secreted by the hepatocytes and how it is excreted so the bile is secreted by the hepatocytes and it is released through one structure called bile canaliculi see in between any two hepatic lamina there is a sinusoid and also between these hepatocyte one cell so each cell has four layers layer x have four uh, side at one side of cell the hepatocytes form depressions so some invagination of the cell membrane like a depression and this adjoining hepatocytes depressions these two join to form one canaliculi these canaliculi is otherwise called as bile canaliculi see suppose this is one hepatocyte and this is another hepatocyte in between the any two hepatocyte at one side of a cell there is a depression that is a this both the hepatocyte depression is going to form the bile canaliculi and this is the area where the bile secreted is discharged into this canaliculi so this is the bile canaliculi so the entire hepatocytes they are facing in 70 percentage so suppose this is a cell 70 percentage of the cell surface facing the sinusoids the 50 percentage of the cell surface facing the bile canaliculi and the remaining 50 per 15 percentage are facing the intercellular adhesions so if or hepatocytes in or a cell eduthukitomna and the cell oda 70 percentage of the surface is related or faced with the sinusoid and the 15 percentage of the cell surface is faced with the bile canaliculi and the 15 percentage of the cell surface is joined with the adjacent cells through the tight junction so there is a interchange between the any two hepatocytes so through the sinusoids nutrients and the all the other things are enter into the hepatocytes for metabolism and the oxygen is going to the hepatocytes for oxygenation and all the excretory products or secretory products or excretory secretory products are once again enter into the sinusoids particularly through the plasma and plasma proteins lipoproteins everything is released into this space of this and once again they enter into the blood stream and they enter into the central vein from the central vein they are entering into the hepatic veins from the hepatic veins they are entering into the inferior vena cava and once again to the heart to the blood stream and the drugs which are swallowed by us so any drugs or toxins or alcohols edella nam eduthomo adella enna vaga podu appadina through the sinusoids valiya hepatocytes poi anga catabolism mudinju ange nu once again they are released into the blood stream then through the blood stream they are enter into the central vein and then to the systemic circulation through the inferior vena cava and then through the urine they can be excreted this is one pathway in one pathway na inga important ah bile nu or character secrete aayirukku so some drugs or some chemicals enna vaagum they are released along with the bile so on the bile moolama once again they enter into the bile canaliculi bile duct ella bile nu secrete aara hepatic liver lende secrete aara the bile enga podu hepatic duct ku hepatic duct enna pannu cystic duct abdinu gall bladder oda duct ku peru cystic duct so hepatic duct join with the cystic duct both join to form the common bile duct common bile duct enga po podu it joins with the pancreatic duct and it drains into the small intestine particularly in the duodenum so for automatically some drugs or some chemicals through the bile enga po podu intestines ku po podu through the intestines adu eppadi veliya pogum 
through the feces it is excreted so all the drugs or chemicals which are taken by us either released into the blood stream and through the urine they are excreted or either released into the bile and through the bile they enter into the intestine and then they excreted through the feces so in the important on functions ella in the liver la nadakkaradunala da idinoda ottumotha structure system eppadi irukku so this is the structural arrangement within the hepatic lobule so hepatic lobule abindrathu it is nothing but it is a lobule where the central vein is present surround the central vein the hepatocytes are radiating towards the periphery and all the hepatic lobules are hexagonal shaped structure and at the each angle of this hexagonal there is a portal triad structure the portal triad structure contains the three important structure one venule from the portal vein and one arteriole from the hepatic artery and one bile ductule so the bile ductule or bile canaliculi in the in between the any two hepatocytes the bile canaliculi is there so the bile canaliculi is nothing but so bile canaliculi is nothing but the intercellular space so depression on the cellular surface so in the adjacent cellular kudi in the gap la kudi in the character ka peda bile canaliculi okay so this is about the arrangement of hepatic lobule so and once again other than this hepatic lobule what are the other lobule one is hepatic or classical lobule and another one is portal portal lobule and another one is hepatic acinus this is the classical or hepatic lobule but this is not the functional lobule it is otherwise called as the venous unit because the vein is present in the center then the next character is the portal lobule what is portal lobule see the portal lobule is formed by joining the two central vein see this is the triangular structure this is the nutritional unit of the liver so this is classical or hepatic lobule is the venous unit of the liver and this triangular structure by joining the adjacent lobe central vein so this triangular structure joining the adjacent central vein of the adjacent hepatic lobule is otherwise called as portal lobule so what is portal lobule it's a triangular structure which is formed by joining the central vein of adjacent three hepatic lobule in the center of this portal lobule the main important structure is the portal triad so this is the portal triad so this is otherwise called as portal lobule and this portal lobule is a nutritional lobule next one is the hepatic acinus otherwise called as functional unit the hepatic acinus is a diamond shaped structure which is this is like a diamond shaped structure see this diamond shaped structure is formed by see here one portal triad the length of the diamond is formed by this long axis is formed by two central vein so the long axis is formed by now the hepatic acinus which is a diamond shaped structure its long axis is formed by two central veins and the short axis is formed by two portal triad structure so this diamond shaped structure is otherwise called as hepatic acinus this is a functional unit so this this entire structure this diamond shaped structure is otherwise called as hepatic acinus hepatic acinus is nothing but a diamond shaped structure long axis connecting the two central vein and the short axis connecting the two portal triad 
so what is the importance of this hepatic acinus abdin pathinga na see this is functionally this is related with the hepatic arteriole so where is the hepatic arteriole see here is the one hepatic arteriole so from the hepatic arteriole there is a oxygenated blood supply in between the any two hepatic lamina see at the periphery of the hepatic lobule this is otherwise called as hepatic lamina so adjacent lobule hepatic lamina or meet with each other and they form a boundary of this character so now one arteriole from this hepatic artery is going through this space so from this space the blood supply to the nearest hepatocytes has rich blood supply so rich oxygenation and it also has more nutrients and also so according to the supply by the hepatic arteriole this area is divided into three zones as a zone 1 zone 2 and zone 3 this one is zone 1 zone 2 and zone 3 the zone 1 zone 2 and zone 3 area enna importance abina the zone 1 area enna vadu arteriole venule ductule ku romba pakkathula irukku so adanalu it has rich blood supply and that blood is rich with oxygen and the nutrients so appa zone 1 safer a irukku next zone 2 nradhu intermediate a irukku konjam minimal blood supply irundhal kuda konjam oxygenation nutrition ellame compared to third zone pombodhu adu it is very close to the central vein so appa enna vaidhu deoxygenated blood jaasiya irukka kudi adathukku pakkathula irukku so adanal third zone nradhu it is a poorly supplied by nutrients and poorly supplied by oxygens and also toxin levelum inge poor ah da irukum the first zone ku eppadi nutrition and oxygenation rich ah kadaikido adhe maadhiri exposure to toxin um more ah irukum moderate zone rendu rendu ku edai la irukku in the last third zone la enna nadakkudhu appadina it is very close to the central vein abindranaala poorly oxygenated and poorly nutritionated but main thing enna na and also toxin level um anga poor ah da irukum so any blood supply or any problem in the liver blood supply or any problem in the hepatocytes what happen hepatocyte blood supply la problem varumbodhu in the zone 1 da first level which is affected by toxins because which is affected by this is the first zone is the safer zone and the second zone and third zone is the poorest zone which is affected by necrosis or any vascular ischemia first zone is the main has rich blood supply rich nutrition irundha kuda toxin nala varakudiya effect edhila jaastiya irukum na zone 1 la jaastiya irukum vascular necrosis adha blood supply illama poradunala varakudiya changes edhila jaastiya irukum na zone 3 la irukum so in the changes alla thirumb இந்த சேஞ்சஸை பற்றி நம்ம புரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்காக தான் இந்த ஹெப்பாட்டிக் அசினஸ் அப்படின்ற ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரக்சரையே நாம் இங்கே டிஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுறோம் ஸோ ஹெப்பாட்டிக் லாப்யூல் அப்படின்றது வீனஸ் யூனிட்ஸ் பார்ட்டல் லாப்யூல் அப்படின்றது ஃபங்க்ஷனல் யூனிட்ஸ் த ஹெப்பாட்டிக் அசினஸ் அப்படின்றது நியூட்ரிஷனல் இது பர்டிகுலர்லி அக்கார்டிங் டு த பிளட் சப்ளை வச்சு நாம் டிவைட் பண்ணுறோம் ஸோ ஹெப்பாட்டிக் லாப்யூல் அப்படின்றது இட் இஸ் அ ஹெக்ஸகோனல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் சென்ட்ரல் வித் சென்ட்ரலி பிளேஸ்டு சென்ட்ரல் வெயின் அண்ட் தென் from the central vein the hepatocytes are radiating towards the periphery and on the each angle of this hexagon there is a portal triad structure which contains the portal artery portal vein hepatic artery and the bile ductule characters this is about the hepatic lobule portal lobule is formed by it is a triangular structure by joining the central vein of adjacent hepatic lobule and this triangular structure in the central portion there is a portal triad structure this is otherwise called as functional unit and the hepatic acinus is a diamond shaped stru- structure long axis is formed by joining the two central vein and the short axis is formed by joining the two portal triad this hepatic acinus is divided into three zone by 
the supply of the hepatic arteriole into first zone very close to that hepatic arteriole and moderate zone is the zone 2 and the severe poor zone is the zone 3 which is very close to the central vein these are all the important functional areas of the liver histological structure so classical or hepatic lobule is a 2 mark portal lobule is a 2 mark hepatic acinus is a 2 mark and in each and every character which is the main character na hepatic lobule central vein is the main character and in the portal lobule portal triad is the central character and in the hepatic acinus it is basically by the supply of the hepatic arteriole these are all the important things you have to know then next thing is the of blood and the which is rich in uh, nutrients and oxygen that is from the hepatic artery and the portal vein the blood is going from the periphery towards the center to the central vein so this is centripetal but the bile secreted by the hepatocytes are secreted by the hepatocytes but they are going towards the periphery so that is centrifugal that is also mcq which is centripetal blood flow through the sinusoids which is centrifugal bile flow from the hepatocytes towards the bile ductules this see in liver this typical hexagonal arrangement of hepatic lobule is seen only in the pig but not in the human beings because human beings the less amount of connective tissue it will not produce this characteristic uh, septal arrangement of each lobule as in a hexagonal shape so inge vandu nama we are going just anginga central vein and from the central vein lende radiate aayi irukka kudiya nariya hepatocytes ipdi dhaan paapome oliya typical this hepatic lobule arrangement in the human liver la nam paakamaatom but for histological features kaga nama idha thani thaniya classical lobule portal lobule hepatic lobule appdin solittu nama depending upon the vein depending upon the portal triad depending upon the function wise nama separate panikrom that's all these are all the important things you have to know about the liver histology so basically the liver is the largest gland has both exocrine and endocrine function so to do that exocrine endocrine structure what are the basic structural arrangement under the nama ipa paathu mudichirukom then in the next class we are seeing about the pancreas